First, though, we begin with the next round of people getting vaccinated in Kansas. The Kansas Health Secretary says he believes the state will move to phase three in the next four weeks or less. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kelly Eckerman. This would include people between 16 and 64 with medical conditions and other critical workers like utility and construction workers. Dr. Lee Norman says the plan is to keep all Kansas counties in the same phase until everyone's vaccinated. But as KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney reports, some counties want to move to phase three now. Riley County, Kansas, Manhattan has vaccinated about 10% of their people, but they've gone through so many of their folks eligible in the current phase two that they wanted to move into phase three, people under 64 and folks in frail health, among other groups. So they told the Kansas Department of Health of their intention. When we were questioned by KDHE and we told them our plan, um, they did state that we need to follow the state's plan exactly. Until then, we would not receive any more shipments. Sedgwick County, Wichita, heard the same thing, and supposedly a couple of western Kansas counties, too. Health Director Lee Norman says no counties are being punished. Uh, there's no sanctions. There's no punishment. It's just a pause in their allocation. Gibb says Riley County immediately backed off their Phase 3 plan, so not to jeopardize their allocation. And the Riley County Health Department says one effect, they were not able to help a neighboring county who needed more vaccine. This came up Tuesday as Governor Laura Kelly, Dr. Norman and others toured Wyandotte County's new vaccination site at their armory. It's their third. Kelly clearly impressed with Wyandotte County's efforts at vaccinating the county's minority population. She says all counties, especially the smaller ones, have to stay in the same phase or risk a run on vaccine. We'll start inundating those small counties uh, and they really won't be able to handle the capacity. So KCK opens up a third vaccination site here at the Armory and the state says phase three probably won't start until the beginning of April. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The latest report from Kansas shows 16% of the population has received its first dose of vaccine. Right now in Missouri, the state is vaccinating those in Phase 1A through Phase 1B Tier 2. Those include people over the age of 65, first responders, high-risk individuals, and healthcare workers. Starting Monday, the state will move to Phase 1B Tier 3. That means 550,000 more people will be eligible to be vaccinated. That includes teachers and child care workers, as well as government employees and food and agriculture employees. People in Missouri can register to get a vaccine online. The website is listed there on your screen. If you don't have access to the internet, call the COVID-19 hotline at 877-435-8411. Now, once you're eligible, the website will alert you and it will help you find a provider or vaccination event near you. You'll also get a reminder about scheduling your second dose. President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill is expected to pass tomorrow. It includes billions for COVID vaccine distribution, testing, and contact tracing. There will be $1,400 stimulus checks for most Americans and enhanced jobless benefits of $300 per week. $350 billion is set aside for state and local governments. Once the rescue plan is signed, eligible Americans should get those direct payments this month. The IRS and Bureau of the Fiscal Service are building on lessons learned from previous rounds to increase the number of households that will get electronic payments, which are substantially faster than checks. The bill will likely pass without Republican support. Health leaders in Douglas County and Lawrence are loosening their COVID-19 restrictions. The updated order takes effect just after midnight tonight. It expands the mass gathering limit from 25 people to 50 people. It also removes the requirement to close a restaurant or bar at midnight. Social distancing and masking requirements, though, will remain in place. The number of new cases in Missouri continues to go down. The state's seven day average compared to a week ago is down to 364. We'll be getting an update from Kansas tomorrow. In Kansas, the monthly positivity rate is at 2.9%. In Missouri, the positivity rate is at 4.3%. We're still getting answers to your COVID-19 questions at KMBC.com and on our KMBC 9 News app, where the download is free. It's in your app store. You can get those updates sent straight to your phone.